Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today we are going to take a look at BNB on the charts and we are going to see where it might be headed in the long term and what it's going to take for it to continue higher and higher and higher. Now. For those of you who are new to the channel, if you're interested in trading and would like to use the same crypto exchange that I have been using for the last three years, feel free to go ahead and check out the Maxi Exchange with the link in the video description below this video. I personally love this exchange for two big reasons. The first one, as you guys all know, I'm a huge altcoin nerd and they have over 1,500 different altcoins. And in addition to that, they have some of the absolute cheapest fees in the entire industry right now, which is 0.01% taker fees, and that's it. So you simply get to keep more of your profits, which is obviously very, very nice, especially when we're trading. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look at BNB right now. I'm going to go through both a bullish scenario and a bearish scenario, okay? So as we can see right now at the time of me filming this video right now, Bitcoin dominance is currently at roughly around 52%. So realistically, um, you know, hey, most people got their money in Bitcoin or, you know, a lot of people got their money in Bitcoin. And typically what that happens is, is uh, you know, when Bitcoin dominance is high, that typically means that, you know, altcoins are starting to, uh, you know, uh, I could guess you could say correct or drop in price. Um, and, you know, Bitcoin starts to, you know, go up a little more. Now, um, typically when that happens, you know, coins start to drop. Obviously, you can start to see that a lot of them are dropping. You can see in the red over here, a lot of these altcoins have been dropping. Um, so besides that, as far as long term potential is concerned and where it could potentially go in the long term, let's go ahead and check this out. So as of right now, the current lo local low is currently right around $202, as we can clearly see here. Uh, we hit $202 pretty much two different times right here, and that's pretty much a double bottom right there, and we ended up uh, shooting straight up and reversing. So that's very nice to see. And you can see how that played out on the um, RSI down here as well. So we've got that going on. So the thing going on here is, is we have got this major resistance level up here at $261 and 71 cents, give or take like $261, whatever. And as you can see here, uh, this was from back in July of 2023. So we need to go ahead and we need to flip this resistance in order to move into the next range up here, okay? Once we move into this next range, our support is then going to be $261. Our next resistance is going to be roughly around $301, okay? That's going to be our next major resistance. And the reason why is because we had, you know, way back here in May of 2023, uh, May again, early May of 2023, we hit it again in April 2023, and before that, March of 2023. We have four different sections back there where price ended up getting rejected and we ended up moving a little bit higher and higher and higher off of those off of those levels. All right, so we have got some pretty decent support right in there. So, well, actually it's gonna turn into resistance. So once we, you know, cross this resistance, then we're gonna have this next resistance up here at 301. And then we will start to range probably within this range here for a little bit before hopefully heading higher into the next range of, you know, the next high, the next resistance of being $351, which would be very nice. Uh, we ended up hitting that, let's see here, back in April of 2023. So that is kind of the next move here. Now, as far as dropping in a bearish scenario, realistically, guys, I do not see this happening. I just, I mean, realistically, it could. I can't see the future. I'm, I ain't a magician. I ain't Harry Potter. Um, but realistically, I don't see that happening, all right? Um, the reason why is because we've already, I mean, we've got so much bullish sediment going on right now in the market that it's just absolutely crazy, okay? Uh, realistically, what I could see happening here at the time of me filming this video, I could see us maybe dropping down to this level right here of this level right here and possibly consolidate and we'll either consolidate before I end up, end up moving upwards again and going up. Or what I could see happening is we could end up breaking through this if there's just not enough buyers here. We could end up breaking through this and dropping down to this next layer right in here, okay? And from there, then we start to move up again, okay? And then well, obviously once we hit this section again, which would be right around in here, price might start to consolidate a little bit again and we might end up starting to move higher from there again, all right? So it's all about the different levels here, you guys, all right? I can't say this enough. I literally can't say it enough. You have to look at the levels, all the different levels where there was various support and various resistance and all kinds of different areas, and it all starts to come to you, all right? 
So realistically, you guys, long-term grand scheme of things, I see nothing but good potential for BNB uh, moving forward, especially as the market continues to be bullish right now, okay? Now, overall, again, we're talking overall here, long-term, all right? I am not a day trader. I'm more of a swing trader, so that's why I typically like to look at daily charts and stuff like that. So this is my reasoning for, you know, where I think we are going um in the long term now i again we could end up breaking the support at some point in time i mean i guess if bitcoin were to nuke and drop hardcore i mean hey i guess it's possible that we end up that we could end up that we could end up breaking the support right here at 202 dollars and then dropping further down to what is this 183 dollars or you know within this range here okay uh, which we ended up hitting that range right around, let's see here, we bottomed out there on June 18th of 2022, okay? Now, again, you guys, I realistically do not see that happening, but you have to keep in mind, it is a possibility, okay? Um, you know, <laughs> realistically, I don't see it happening, though. But overall here, you guys, um, as far as reaching a new all-time high, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. As far as uh, BNB reaching a new all-time high, to be brutally honest with you, I mean, hey, again, I can't see the future, but realistically, um, it is possible. I could definitely see it. I mean, it has already hit highs of, let's see here, what is its current all-time high? I don't even know. Uh, we've got a current all-time high of $690 from two years ago in the previous bull run. I mean, realistically, as the uh, you know, as the uh, BNB chain continues to evolve and continues to grow, and more and more projects continue to build on it, I suppose in the long term, especially considering that BNB is one of the larger chains out there and one of the most popular chains out there, I could definitely see it continuing to grow more and more and more above $690 at some point in the long term, you guys. All right, so. Now, if any of you guys have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video or anything that's related to altcoins or trading in general or anything like that, feel free to go ahead and reach out to me in my free community Discord server, which you can find a link to in the description below this video as well. But other, other than that, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But before you guys leave, if you haven't already, and if you would like to, feel free to go ahead and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you in the comment section down below of my future videos.